Hi there, I'm Uncle Joel with Pen and Reel, and I wanted to share my thoughts with you on the book Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I knew very little about Blake Crouch going into this book. I was aware of Wayward Pines, his book trilogy that got turned into a TV series, but only tangentially. I knew of it, but I had never seen the TV show and I had never read the books, and in fact I don't think I'd even really seen any commercials for it, so I just knew vaguely that it existed. I had seen Dark Matter on shelves in bookstores numerous times, and the title and the cover both caught my attention, but still I knew nothing about them. Then I saw the book repeatedly in airports all over the world. San Francisco, London, Dublin, and still it kept drawing my attention. So when I was getting settled in England and had the exciting prospect of rebuilding my book collection, Dark Matter kept coming to mind. Still knowing next to nothing about either the book or Blake Crouch himself, I decided a blind jump would be fun. I mean, worst case scenario, I don't like the book and I don't finish it. So Dark Matter is a science fiction thriller that shifts its focus as it goes. It is a thriller first and foremost, but the science fiction aspects become increasingly a part of the story as it progresses. In fact, most of the first half of the book is light on the sci-fi aspects, even though they are central to the plot. The story is told in first person, which for me makes the thriller far more exciting. I want to see and feel the story from the perspective of the one going through it if I am going to be invested in the suspense. Jason Dessen, the protagonist, is abducted one evening, taken to a remote location and drugged. He wakes up to find that the world around him is completely different. He doesn't have the job that he thought he did. He's not married to the woman that he has known for 15 years. They don't have a son together. Everything about his life does not line up with the memories that he has. Is he going insane? Is it a prank or some elaborate trick? What's going on? Now, the truth of what was going on was fairly obvious to me from the start. In fact, I figured it out within about 10 pages. But I wouldn't fault the storytelling for that. You see, I've spent a great deal of time reading science fiction, fantasy, and especially comic books. So a story like this is pretty standard for me. I don't want to spoil exactly what it is that is so familiar for me, particularly for those that may not be as familiar with these concepts as I am, so that maybe if you decide to read the book, it'll be a surprise for you. For me, the book felt more like a thriller that was intended for the average reader, not necessarily the sci-fi buff or the comic book nerds, but it was a thriller that delved into science fiction, almost like a gateway sci-fi book or a sleight of hand that changes the story from a, a typical thriller to something far more fantastical. So even though I guess the major twist very quickly, I'm inclined to believe that the average reader would not necessarily do so. Unfortunately, my regular reading habits of science fiction and comic books and fantasy made a lot of this book very predictable for me. I was getting bored by the time the science fiction stuff was fully being explored. And honestly, once it started being fully explored, that didn't really help to improve it for me too much. Even though the book is written in an exciting, easy to read manner, I think much of the issue is it was just all very familiar for me. Everything being done here, the concepts being explored, are very basic and commonplace to me. Nowhere near as exciting as a lot of readers will likely find them to be. That being said, it was still an enjoyable read. Yes, I started to get bored with it, but that's the way my mind works. I need new ideas constantly coming at me. If you are not overly familiar with science fiction and fantasy and comic books, then these ideas may be fresh for you. And, and if these ideas are something new to you, or something that you at least don't have much experience with, I think you'll find the book very exciting, very engaging, and filled with ideas that just seem to come out of left field and yet fit perfectly within the nature of the plot. That being said, the last portion of the book played out quite differently than what I was expecting. There are many aspects of the core ideas that are very predictable to me, but the last hundred pages or so follow the concepts to a logical point of progression that I haven't seen done very often, and I found that very satisfying. This additional wrinkle presented very unique problems and necessitated different ways of doing things, different problems, different obstacles, and just different approaches and different ways of thinking altogether. I found it very satisfying, and it did what I hope to find in all books. It started giving me new ideas for my own stories, or at least how they would expand the world beyond this book. The farther I got into the story, the more ways I, I pictured sequels or spin-offs coming from this book just based off of different story points that they presented. Any book that positively sparks my desire to write is one that I would consider good. 
regardless of its flaws. And this definitely did that. It also gives me ideas on how to approach my own writing differently, giving me tools that will hopefully make my books more exciting. Overall, I think the book succeeded at what it was attempting to do, and it is an enjoyable read. The plot won't be anything new for seasoned science fiction and comic book readers, but it does present some unique progression in the latter part of the book that keeps it from feeling redundant. Those not well versed in science fiction and graphic novels may find this a different, exciting adventure that will leave you questioning and guessing until the very end. This is a good, quick read, and one I would recommend to anyone wanting an exciting adventure to reel them in. Now, on a quick side note, there are plans of making a movie out of this book, which I think could be extremely exciting. I think the presentation of this book is very cinematic and it would just lends itself wonderfully to being portrayed in a film. At the time of this video, Roland Emmerich is slated to direct. Emmerich gave us Independence Day and Stargate, among others. So we know that he can do science fiction well if given the right tools. And on top of that, this is science fiction to a degree, but most of it isn't heavy, like hard sci-fi. There aren't gonna be these crazy special effects for the vast majority of the movie. Unfortunately, most of his movies do not inspire me with much hope, as he is also known for the 1998 Godzilla, Independence Day Resurgence, The Day After Tomorrow, and 2012, all of which are generally not well received, and all of which I did not care for. And on top of that, all of these poorly received movies are more recent than his really good ones. Although I will confess, I haven't seen a lot of his more recent movies, so maybe there are some exceptions in there that I'm just not aware of. So given the different nature of this movie, given that it will be a far more grounded sci-fi affair, it's entirely possible that this could be an exception and that he could still do really well with it. I'm not entirely hopeful, but I'm not willing to give up hope just yet. This is a movie that I do want to see get made, and I believe it would be fairly successful. But what do you think? If you've read the book, I'd like to hear your impressions, particularly the sci-fi elements. If you're very familiar with science fiction and comic books, did that detract from your experience? If you're not familiar with science fiction and comic books, how did you receive the science fiction elements as they unveiled? If you haven't read the book, are there any questions I can answer that might help you decide whether or not you want to read the book? Until next time, this is Uncle Joel saying, Stay tangible.